Have you ever been in a situation where you've been either asked to give somebody some money to invest and they'll make you know so much more out of it or you've read it on a website where they say oh if you invest a little bit of money then we'll give you more back or basically all of these things are scams okay and that is why I've got this video it's the seven steps that you need to take the due diligence that you need to take a step-by-step -step to not get scammed by these people it sometimes sounds so good that you almost can't help yourself but hey that's a warning by itself and by the way we have to do this video because lately we've had so many messages DMing us going oh you know where shall I send the Bitcoin to or where shall I send the money to and we're like what are you talking about we will never ask you to give us money to invest for you our whole ethos is about giving you control of your own money so you always know what to do okay so let's get started and make sure you don't get scammed the very first thing that you need to look for is just look at the website itself. Is there any outrageous claims where you just go, this is too good to be true? And it normally is, right? So if somebody's saying, you know, half a percent a day or something, I mean, that, that's just ridiculous, right? Even half a percent a, a week, yes, you could learn how to do that, but for somebody else to be doing it for you, who are these people? Like, what's their track record? I mean, have you even spoken to them? I'll come on to those points in just a moment. But outrageous claims that make you think there is no way and kind of your greed glands are going like this, that probably is a first sign. The second sign would be, and this is a real red flag, guaranteed profits. If there's the word guaranteed on that site, I can tell you it's a scam. The reason is, is because, and this is another point we'll come on to, the regulatory bodies do not like that language. You can't guarantee things, especially when it comes to financial return. So that is a huge flag. The next one, and this is maybe a little bit me, but if I see a spelling mistake, um, one, I kind of think, okay. Two, I'm like, okay. Three, I tell you what, there is no way I would ever invest money with a company. They can't even proof their own website, okay? So yes, one, I mean, everybody's human, etc. cetera, two, ugh, whatever. But three, I'm sorry. And when there's grammar mistakes and everything like that, it starts smelling very, very fishy. And my reaction is that they might say that they're a UK company run by UK people or an American company by American people. But if there's lots of spelling mistakes, they are not from that country. Hey, that might just be me, but that is a big one for me. And it's a really quick sniff test for you to see, okay? Take time to research the underlying company. So, if it says it's a limited company, for example, or in Germany, a GmbH, for example, you're incorporated, whatever, go to the regulatory uh, body. So, um, for example, in the UK, go to Companies House, look it up. Are the people on the Companies House website, when you look up the limited company, and it says, you know, these are the directors, is that what it says on the website? Sometimes it isn't. Sometimes there's a totally different name. And then, hold on, again, if you start smelling like that, start adding it to the list and you will soon uh, not want to invest. In fact, here's a point. I would say you're almost looking for a reason not to invest, right? It's not, people, what they're doing is they're looking for a reason to invest. So they, 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 they do things, oh, well, that's okay because they want to invest. Uh -uh. You should be looking for a reason not to invest. That's the way. I approach these things. Video or written testimonials. I want to see quite a lot on them and I want to see them on a third party website as well as on the actual website itself of that company. I like to see lots and lots of, not just written, I like to see video testimonials if at all possible and uh, on their website. And I wanna see it in, so for example, something like Trustpilot, for example. Trustpilot is a third party where other people come on. And yes, I mean, the company could write a few as well, I guess. But, you know, I'm looking for other people to give third party objective reviews. And while we're talking about that, I don't just want to see, you know, five out of five. You know, I want to make sure there's a couple of fours, a couple of threes, maybe a two or a one as well. Because if they're all amazing or fantastic, then it's just like, well, that can't be true because it's just impossible 
to please everybody, okay? So that is another point. But then there's regulatory bodies, the real regulators, for example, the Financial Conduct Authority or the BaFin in Germany or the Securities Exchange Commission in America. If this company is taking money from you, Honestly, they must be registered with that regulatory body. They must have on their website, they must have their regulatory number, which you can then take, go onto the regulatory body website, for example, the FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority, and you should be able to put that in, dunk, and that company's name should come up. If it doesn't, uh -uh, do not send them any money at all. It doesn't matter how amazing the offer is run like crazy. Don't rely on information on the site. You know, that, that's just a marketing brochure, okay? That's just a marketing brochure. So that's great if you like it and everything's good, it smells good and everything, that, but then you've got to talk to people and you have to ask them, okay, look, I'll consider doing it, but I need to talk to a minimum of three people who have done what I'm just about to do. And I want to know whether they're happy or not. And warts and all, you know, if they are happy, that's great, but I don't just don't want positive, 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 because I think they're paid actors. What I actually want is warts and all. I say, okay, so what's, so I'll ask the question. I'll kind of say, well, okay, so, so, but what's the worst thing about the company? And they go, well, Sometimes it does take a little bit of time for them to get back to you. That's normal, right? I don't want this glowing report that everything is absolutely 100%. I want to make sure that they are real human beings and people do make mistakes, okay? I mean, one extra that, that, that I would add is that, you know, it has to be, obviously, when you go to the company's house, you, you need to make sure every company has its own number. They should even have their VAT number on the website as well. The, at least the registered company, all of this you can check out. So really, it's up to you. They're gonna be out there trying to scam you as best they possibly can. But if you do all those seven steps and you still wanna go ahead, then maybe what you wanna do is invest a small amount of money to start off with and then see how that goes and then invest some more. And as they, as they say, you know, buyer beware. Caveat emptor, buyer beware. It's up to you to do your due diligence. One other thing that I do have to mention, very important is, is that don't feel as if you have to give your money to somebody else. Who are these people? Do you know them? Do you know their backgrounds? Do you know their history? Do you know their family? You know, what, who, you know, what are they like as people? Do they have the heart in the right place, etc. and so forth. Don't feel as if you need to give your money to somebody else to invest. In my opinion, learn to take control of your own finances. Learn to invest your own money. Even if you give your money to somebody else and they do a good job, then they stop doing it because the investor dies or they move on or whatever, you're still stuck or you're back to being stuck again, aren't you? Because you never took control of your own finances. So our ethos here is to always take control of your every part of your life, including your finances, so that you're strong, you're solid, you can teach your children and leave a legacy. And that's just what we believe. So please don't feel as if you do need to give your money to somebody else, learn to do it by yourselves. Hey, I hope you really enjoyed this video, but more importantly, that you really got a lot out of it. Make sure that people around you know how not to get scammed. I see it all the time. Please, by the way, do comment below if either you or anybody that you know did get scammed. Let's warn each other. What's the latest scam that is out there? Make sure that we allow people to get this information so that they don't get scammed, okay? Please give us a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe. Uh, to this channel so that we can keep sending you this kind of information. Um, not just not to get scammed, but also how to make money as well. Thank you so much.